So I picked up this generator last night. It's a Honda EB4000X. It retails for about 2,500 bucks, brand new. When I got over there, it started up nicely, but it didn't generate AC. Um, the guy had said that it worked eight months ago when he put it away, and it didn't generate any uh, voltage last night. So with that being said, I gave him, I made it an offer for scrap material, what it's worth. Uh, I paid less than a hundred bucks for it. I had an idea of what the problem was. Um, so we're going to uh, re-energize the generator motor. If this, these uh, generators are sitting for um, a long period of time, they, they can lose their uh, magnetic energy to the generator. And if you lose that, the generator will never pick up uh, the energy field to produce the 120 volts or 240. So I'm going to re-energize it using a, a drill. So once I start it, we're going to uh, reverse the drill motor and create the energy field and push it back into the circuit, into the generator motor to re-energize that, that energy field. And that way we can start producing <clears throat> AC. So right now I have a test light, which I plugged into my regular household AC, which works. So I'm going to plug that in as a test. Basically, I have the drill plugged into the AC outlet. Once the uh, once, uh, generator is on, I'm going to reverse the drill and create that energy field from the motor going back into the circuit, back into the generator. It, sh it should re-energize that generator motor. We're back in business. So it's only showing 2.7 volts on my voltmeter. Um, the light is not, it's not turning on. So if I plug it into the house, it works. It does it there. So let's give it a shot. It's reading 120 volts. Look at that. You guys see that? There it is, 120. I just scored a generator for under 100 bucks, and it retails for uh, $2,500. Call it a come up. 